Okay, dear students, welcome to my first online lesson over Zoom. Um, when you have any questions, please by the chat. Uh, and on the end, um, we can discuss your questions. My name is Professor Dr. Hendrik Doss. I come from Germany. Uh, I work in the political sphere, but also in the marketing sphere uh, for normal um, business. Today, we will talk about the option to develop a world, a visual world, um, for, a, uh, for a company, for example. Um, and therefore, we have to know a few basic things. We begin. How to read a picture. To read a picture means that we have to understand how the message is, um, is optimized for our reception. And um, what does the background does with us? And on the second part, um, I will explain how to write a picture, how to develop a picture style that is consistent and um, the recipient is able to understand what companies stand behind this visual visualization. So, When you see these three religious buildings, something is similar. Of course, every of these pictures is made at night, but there is something on the base that's similar. And that means everything is in a triangle compensation. What does it do with us? All religions all over the world try to be there without any time. They're, from the beginning of manhood, there are religion, there is God, and on the end of the earth, there will be God. And that means that all religions want to stay forever. They are timeless. And that's the reason that they use this three angle comp uh, composition. Why? Because it's timeless. It's very stable and it stands not for the future and not for the past. We have also examples from, um, from normal marketing where you see that it works also. But it fits only with the right content. You see here this diamond. This diamond stands for something. It's forever. It's timeless. And that means in this issue, the triangle conversation is a very good choice. Normal, the triangle conversation is not such a good choice because it's not very dynamic. And normal, we try to have it a little bit dynamic, but no rule without a breaking of this rule. I think everybody of you know this company. It's a very famous bank from Germany and you see something. And um, maybe you think something is wrong. And when you think this, you're right. Because everything we do has something to do with the reading direction. And the reading direction in the Western world is normally from left to the right. That means if this would be the logo of the German bank, the German bank wouldn't be rich. You see, it goes down. That's the correct logo from German bank, from the Deutsche Bank. And you see at the part of this graph of um, of the German axiom index. And you see it goes upstairs. It goes up. And you also know this when you see on the traffic sign. Why the left sign means up to the hill and the right side means down to the hill because of reading direction. It's, it's only a learning by reading. And this reading of a picture is very important for choosing uh, pictures also in the political sphere. You see here, that's Mr. Obama. Mr. Obama, I switched him. He looked to the past. You see, the right one is very much stronger, this picture. You can try it. When you have a picture from a politician or from yourself, try to mirror it and you will see that it's more dynamic when you look in direction of reading. That means we have the future, we have the past, 
and we are timeless. And that's only in a picture, without movement, without a video. The diagonal conversation, it's very, very strong. And it's the most used um, conversation in classical marketing. You see here in this car, this car classically drives from the left to the right in the future and it goes up. That means it's very dynamic. The third um, conversation is a circle conversation. Here we have only things. There are things, they are free, they are only single things. But we want to have it together to build a group of this. And therefore, the circle conversation is best. And all of this is often used in classical marketing. Uh, when you see logos from, from companies who make networking or something like this, you will often see a circle um, conversation because they make from single parts a group. You see here, all these childs are now one group. A round thing alone on the, on a, uh, on the picture isn't a circle com uh, com um, composition because you need single things you add it to one circle composition. The next one is um, the perspective. Also, the perspective is very important. You see this guy. He looks very ne neutral, and I didn't change now anything on this guy. But I changed the horizon. When you want to make a photo, you go on your knees. Look what happened. Nothing on this guy changed. But looks, he looks like a hero. From down to the up means to make the, the person much stronger. Go backwards and you see it's more neutral. For what is it useful? It's useful especially to make people strong. You see here on this picture, this child are photographed, the photographer lie on the ground. He goes from down to the top and he make the child very strong. Not only because they are in a group, that's also a motive that make the child strong because they are not alone. But the perspective from down to top makes this child very strong. And you see, it works. Why it's important? This is from Chibo. Chibo is a, is a coffee maker in Germany. <coughs> but he sell also a lot of things for private use and also for childs. And they want to develop a world for where the childs are very, very strong and the family is very strong and very um, stable. When you see the next picture, this is from H&M, that's for clothing. It's not important how this girl, is, it, if this girl is strong or not, that's not important. They want to show the closest. That means that this girl is in a neutral position, that, um, that, it's, that the child is not so important. The people have to look on the closest. And now we have a picture from top to down. What does it do <coughs> with this child? <coughs> this child is not strong. It needs help. And that's the reason from the perspective of an adult man, he looks down to this girl. And that brings the recipient in a position where it's a strong one. He has to take care of it. And there are a few more points on this picture. Normally in a normal lesson, I would ask you if you can see it. Now I want to explain. Think it over when in the back of this picture would be a perfect bag with nice, nice um, things for childs, yellow and clean. It wouldn't work this picture. Also, the background works with you. That's this little girl hold this hand, hold this wall with her hand, means it searches for stability. And that's the reason that this photo works so good to, to, um, to get money from people to help with childs. 
That means in this way, the perspective have to make this, uh, this, little, uh, this little girl not strong. The opposite side is interesting. Um, there is an old ad from Apple from Siri. I think it's not long, it's 12 seconds, something like this. Let's look at it and then we look exactly what they have done with us. Das ist das iPhone 4S mit Siri. Erinnere mich ans Milch holen, wenn ich das Büro verlasse. Okay, ich werde dich erinnern. Sag meiner Freundin, ich schaffe es rechtzeitig. Hier ist deine Nachricht an Lina. Was liegt heute alles an? Ich konnte folgende Termine finden. Brauche ich heute Abend einen Regenschirm? Es sieht nicht nach Regen aus an diesem Abend. Sag Hallo zum erstaunlichsten iPhone aller Zeiten. So, now we look what they have done with us. In the beginning, there is a picture of the product. Very stable, only in the middle is a triangle com uh, composition, and it means that's very stable. It's not interesting the surrounding. We see in the coloring that it's very clear. It's a little bit blue in the back, and it means it's trustful. So, next thing. Now we see here a classical target group from Apple. Why? Because you see her clothes are very clean, straight, and she looks in the back. Why does she look in the back? It's a diagonal composition, and it means she looks backwards to her family. She is careful for the family. I don't know, I have a refrigerator at home, but normally in my door, there is a, a ketchup, a Coke bottle, but here you see only clear and healthful things from, from visualization. It means that this woman is very respectful for her family. She takes care and Siri helps her to, to manage uh, the family. And um, you see on her clothes, it's the blue thing something trustful. Blue is such a powerful color. So next one. Next target group, the young business guy, very straight, very strong. He go to the future and he walk straight, but not tactical. How does Apple do this? Look in the back. There is a guy he runs. And that is so important that the guy in front didn't is hectical. He's not hectical because you see on the back that something is running. And you can say it's a fortune. No, wait, I will prove that's not so fortune, it's planned. So next target group. This guy, a successful businessman. Also, you see there is blue. And you see on the back something where you can read that it's not a poor guy. And your brain read it. And you can, you, can, um, you can transport a message by the background much more um, efficient than uh, in the further ground. And you see in the back at the door that the door isn't an office door. It's too nice. And you also see that screen in the back. That means he didn't um, live in a skyscraper or, or in the middle of the city. He is a good, um, um, he have good money in his pocket because you see in the back that it's a good surrounding where he lives. And her, his child are very happy. They run for school with a smile. I have a son. I remember it in another way, but it works. He's a happy, successful guy and he's calm. He looked in the back. And we have a diagonal, diagonal conversation. And then the last one, the last target group, that are you, the students, young people who are technical, interested. And you see this woman, she looks in the future, but not very straight. And she makes something like this here. What does it mean? It means she's not sure, she's not, um, she's not safe. She, she's not sure how the weather will be, do, do I need an umbrella? And when Siri told her there is no rain, she's very happy and the hand goes away from us. And then on the end, 
you see the only information you need to buy this. And that's the product name, not more, not less. Um, the typography on the back, uh, on, on, the, on the bottom there, is only because they have to do this. It's from the law. Otherwise, this would be also a way. Because they want that you're remembering only this, what you need to buy this product. The Apple logo, you don't need to write it down. And the product name. And now you can say, okay, maybe this guy on the airport, he's run there and, and, and the film is, is a fortune. No, because Apple made this ad for different regions in the world. And look at this and you will see how similar worldwide the communication is. This is the iPhone 4S with Siri. Remind me to give milk when I leave work. Here's your reminder for when you leave work. Das ist das iPhone 4S mit Siri. Ich erinnere mich ans Milch holen, wenn ich das Büro verlasse. Okay, ich werde dich erinnern. Ça, c'est l'iPhone 4S avec Siri. Ne pensez acheter du lait en partant du bureau. Voici votre rappel. This is the iPhone 4S with Siri. Remind me to get milk when I leave work. Here's your reminder for when you leave work. And you see every time in the back, something runs. The guy in the foreground goes straight because the, in the back there is hectic. Tell my wife I'm going to make it. Here's your message to Emily. What does my day look like? Not bad. Only two meetings today. And you see all child all over the world, when you have an apple handy, they are always happy because you are so good all the time. What does my day look like? Not bad. Only two meetings today. Can you an umbrella tonight? There's no rain in the forecast for tonight. Brauche ich heute Abend einen Regenschirm? Es sieht nicht nach Regen aus an diesem Abend. Est-ce que je dois prendre un parapluie ce soir? La météo n'annonce pas de pluie pour la soirée. Do I need an umbrella tonight? Um, the It's only women who, who don't make this, because in Australia the women have another uh, health feeling and they don't want to be in this way. Say hello to the most amazing iPhone yet. Okay. So that means background is interesting. And composition is interesting, and coloring is also interesting. I have another example from a, from a German uh, company, from Siemens. Siemens uh, has such a huge uh, portfolio of products, but they also have to take care that the corporate design and the corporate identity works together. And therefore, um, they have so many, um, so many people who work for them for communication. They have to understand the feeling. They have to um, to know how the the uh, the mute of, of of the of the company is the visual mute. And um, I have a small film, and I will show you. Siemens offered a wide range of product, and what they want to uh, what they want to um, to transport. What message? They want to transport that they have a fair price, a professional uh, support, a high quality, of course, a positive image and a timeless design and how they do this. And this film is normally only for photographers or designers. They work for Siemens. And it's an emotional film because you have to feel what the, what the corporate identity wants to transport.
So now let's look what they try to tell us. In our times, so many pictures, everybody have an have a, a iPhone with a very, very good quality and everybody make photos the whole day. That means that the fight for uh, reception goes on. We have to try to be um, trustful. And that means that it's often more interesting to not to be so perfect to be um, to be to to um, to transport the image of um, of authentic authenticity. Yes, and that means they try really to use this not perfect style picture style, this subjective camera style to be uh, trustful. And they try to make um, attention over new perspectives. And new perspectives, when you, when you make photos or make a film, it's so hard to find perspectives of, of your motive that are not normal, that are make the picture interesting. And they work a lot with close-ups. That means that they go very, very near on the motive and try to make over this um, extraordinary uh, pictures, picture style. And of course, it's interesting that we have so many lovely girls on this, in this world, especially in Kiev. But um, it's, it's so normal that the girls are looking so perfect. And it's also here they try to, to be trustful. Um, they choose models, they are natural. They are not so, uh, not so perfect with makeup and, and, and all this. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice woman, no, no question about it. But she's not perfect. She's trustful, original. And um, they try to tell stories. You know this, storytelling is so important for also for, for a corporate identity. Um, to tell what, what is the idea behind the company, what is the religion behind the company. And this is the, what they try to tell. And also you see black people, you see Asian people. They are a worldwide company and they have to, have to be there for all races all over the world. And of course they try to, be, to, to transport a professional image. Um, they, they, they are not always smiling, they, are, they do a job, they are, they are trustful. That's very important because also the products, you have to be trustful for the products. And you see the technical, the technical side is also communicated in this, in this film. They try also to, to, to say we are in time, we are a modern company. And of course, they try to be trustable. And you see, I told you something about the color blue. Look at him. He, he looks trustable. He's, he's a guy over there, there's white in the back. White stands for clean, for clear, and blue for trustless. And I make a change in coloring. Look at this. Would you buy from him anything? No. It's, it's, it's not the same. I go one back. One second. When you see this, it's so much more trustful than the next picture, you see? And that's the reason blue is a color is often used from companies, they, uh, their business based on trust. You see, so many international uh, companies use the color blue because they know blue is a color for trust. A few examples from, uh, from consistent uh, picture language. What make a, con a consistent picture language consistent? Of course, the motive. The motive, um, the choose of the motive is, is, um, is so important because you defin define also your target group with the models, uh, with the motives you use. The composition, of course, I told you, when you sell something very dynamic, you have to have a more dynamic composition. And when you want to sell something calm, you have to have a more calm composition. The perspective, of course, uh, the coloring, very, very important. You see here by Coca-Cola, 
Coca-Cola, every time when you see a Coca-Cola ad, you see the red from Coca-Cola in different areas of the picture. And also the gradation of the pictures are very, very strong. That means that the coloring is very, very intensive. And um, of course, the statement, what does the picture communicate together with background, with composition, with models, and the consistency of all pictures you use in, um, in, um, in communication. Also a good example for this is Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz didn't sell a lifestyle product in, in, in the sphere of, 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 of lemonade, but a lifestyle product in the sense of uh, where I am, what's my social, um, uh, my social position, and it's a technical thing. Yeah? And you'll see all those coloring is, is, is much more softer. It's going in the gray, uh, in the gray uh, sphere and with a little blue inside for what? It's uh, a trustful color. And you see also here, uh, it's normally a, um, a diagonal composition. Only in the ad here on this, on this side, you see there is a, a, a triangle composition because that means the back. And that means uh, the future. And um, I don't know, may you see it not so good over the, um, over, the, uh, over the screen, but this is the only brown area on this. On this. And also here the color is important because they try to, to enforce this thing in the old one. Yeah? And you see this is a perfect example for the time direction of an ad. And when you have a good visual, uh, a good um, uh, uh, picture language, there is no need for a logo. Look at this. It's completely enough to know this is Mercedes-Benz. And that's the reason that the logo is only in a very, very small area down on the right side. Yeah? And that's the power of a good, of a good um, um, picture language. But there are also um, traps where you can go inside. When you see this, this is the old, um, the old advertisement from McDonald's. And in the beginning for McDonald's, um, they made a lot of ads with this happy child and, um, and the people uh, see something different in reality. And that's the point. When the reality and, um, and your picture style goes too wide, when, when, it, when, when, it's, when, it's, um, when it's not trustable, then it's not believing and then you destroy a good image of a company. And that means when the people go in the McDonald's in USA, they see these childs and not this happy, sporty guys you see on the ads. That was the reality. And that, the consequence of this was, that's McDonald's, a lot of years they make ads without any people on it. Because they, are, they know that this kind of, of lying, of visual lying was too hard. And it's, it hits really um, um, the, 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 um, the customers. The customers don't trust it in this time so good. And then they change it and it's getting better. Now it changed because this uh, McDonald's changed also the, the, the politics of, of the products they sell. There are a lot of biologic, a lot of healthy things. And now it changed. And when you see ads in the moment from McDonald's, they are very, very often with a white background, a very clear background, and uh, with, with big parts of green and young, healthy people. But it works when the product um, uh, fits in this, uh, in this um, picture language. So that's the point where we can where we can read a picture how we can um, understand what they want to tell us and when we can read something we also have to write it and that's the second part without a good idea the camera should stay in back uh, that means a consistent picture language it's not a snapshot, it's planned. You have to think in the beginning what I want to tell 
it's always in design you have a um, you have a job to do and you have to transport a message and that means in the first this is your camera at first we have to think it over what is uh, what are the points we have to transmit so for example at first you have to define your motivation what's your motivation for example more tourists for paris and um, normally i ask in my lessons what is the classical um, icon for paris and normally everybody says the same and yes it is the Eiffel Tower, of course. And um, now, how we can get more tourists to Paris? We can show the product and tell what they have to do, come to Paris. I don't know that this would work. I don't know, it's not so charming. Maybe we can transport a little bit more feeling in this. And there we are in two different um, in two different things a picture has to do. Think it over. You are on a on a mess on a on a not a mess on a you are on a you are here. <laughs> Thank you. My my word uh, the word uh, uh, is not in my brain at the moment. Um, but you are here and you try to survive this with all this coloring, all those people and um, you want to, to get customers here. So, we have pictures, they have to win the fight against all the surrounding. And there we have two ways. We have emotional attraction and uh, iconographic informal attraction. What does it mean? It means on the left side, the picture is an emotional attraction. That means the people go there and see on the side, oh, there's something interesting, something not normal. Uh, I have to inform what they, what they sell there. It's not very clear that there is an Eiffel Tower um, because of, of perspective and coloring. It's not a clear photo from Eiffel Tower. On the right side, you see a very clear photo from Eiffel Tower. That means it's an icon. Everybody who's interesting in Paris will know here on this, I get information from my lovely town, Paris. That means on the left side, you get new customers. They are maybe not interesting in the moment to make vacation in Paris. On the right side, you have the target group who are interested in Paris and you catch them um, you catch them because you use the icon they are interested in. And that's com uh, completely two different ways to make the communication, but you have to decide. Both is normally not in one communication um, possible. And the next thing, what I told you is um, the surrounding, the surrounding of the enemy. When you have a job to make here, something um, people, Look at it. How would you do it? I would, everybody cries there. Everybody is loud. It's very, very strong coloring. It's everybody screams. When I have the job to do something on this wall, I would do something very, very straight with less colors, with less information and a very strong, maybe a white thing with a black, uh, with, a, with, with a black typography, something like this. Less is more. When you go here with yellow, yellow isn't a, a strong color. Normally it's a strong color. It's a very strong color. But in this fair, it didn't work. That means everything you do in design, you have to put in context. You have to know where it is, um, where, 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 where it will be broadcasted, and then you have to think it over how they will survive in the surrounding my communication model. Of course, 
um, the format is also important for the for the picture and it's it goes near to the composition side um, the upright format is very straight clear and not so dynamic um, when you go more in, in this direction you see it's getting more dynamic but if you want to have really dynamic photos go in the really wide scene and you will see that the same photo have much more power more dynamic than you when you take it in the normal view that means we have always to try to get new photos how we will do it you have to um, to find out where are the perspectives never thought before anybody anybody shouldn't never have the idea before you and when you see this picture of a fly a fly is not a very nice animal but this it's a very nice picture of a fly and how they do it they look at the motif. They regard it from all angles and perspectives. They examine details and seem to, to be self-evident. And pay attention of the mood and the light and the direction it comes from. The light is so important for the picture with the shadows, but also with the coloring. And of course, you have to be brave if you want to be a good photographer. Um, this picture is from, from Germany, from Berlin. And um, it's, uh, the stairs are very much often photographed because it's the stairs from the Chancellor, uh, Chancellor building. And um, Angela Merkel always stand on the stairs. That means that the stairs are so many photos in the world, but I think not so many people have a photo from this direction. Why? Because I asked the security guy, please, 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 can I go behind this? Please, 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 please. And he, you said, no. And I said, eh. and then I wait a few minutes and he was away. And I go there and make my photo. And um, of course, it's, it's, not, it's not legal, but I have my photo. And it's the same when you, when you make private photos on a, on a wedding or something like this. When you are a good photographer, nobody likes you because you are permanent in, in, in the foot of the people. You are, if you want to have good photos, you have to be brave, you have to go on stairs, you have to go in the front, and you have to be, um, um, you, you are a little bit, um, um, you, you, you are not so uh, calm, you, are, you have to be in front. You have really near to the motives if you want to have good photos. And uh, that's a problem of, uh, of a lot of photographers. Um, they have to be brave. The background. The background is something we can really manipulate people. Because the further ground, the people know, they see, okay, there is a guy, and um, they understand it, and they, um, they are critical from the further ground. But the background, they, they didn't see it right. They only see in the back. This is a photo from a political um, customer of me. And this photo is made with a special technique where I can change the background very, very easily. And you see, you know now, it's a Photoshop thing. But you can't change that the mood of the background goes into you. That means the background talks to you and you can't change it, you can't change it. And now look at this, it's the same photo, but the feeling of the photo is completely different. You know that's a Photoshop, but it, it uh, means that you, you can't change that it works like it works. That means the background together with coloring is the only option to communicate something the recipient didn't know that you communicated with him. Um, and also the part you show from your picture is important. The environment as, as activator. 
when you see this picture of the ship, it's nice, it's calm, but it's not a very strong picture. It, it's a ship. But when you take the environment, the surrounding together, the, um, the picture gets more, the, the feeling is better. And that's not always the, the right reset, because sometimes we have to go in focus. Sometimes we have really to go in focus. And um, for example, somebody asked me to make uh, a photo from a, from a seagull. And I show this. Of course, there is a seagull in the photo, but the photo communicates maybe a harbor or, or the guy on the bank, but it's, it's not the theme, the translation of the photo is not seagull. That's more seagull. But it's incorrect. There are two seagulls. And when we, when we want to translate something in a visual communication, in a photo, it has to be exact. That means this is a solution of, uh, of, of this job. This is a seagull, not more, not less. And that is the other hand where we have to make focus on the content we have to transport. To make a photo strong, we also have um, we have the, the thing of contrast. And contrast, it's it's a very interesting thing to make pictures powerful. And there are a few uh, different things where we can uh, develop a contrast on a picture. And you see here uh, on this picture with this with this flower a few different things. You see, of course, a coloring contrast. You see here this. Flowers are very red with Photoshop, of course, uh, but you see more. You see this um, natural flower and you see in the back this urban, uh, urban situation all the way this, with this van and it's, it's, not so, it's not so natural, but this is natural. That means there is, a, there, there is an interesting thing between the gray urban situation and this small romantic flower and that makes this picture strong because of contrast when you see this lovely woman um, she um, she's a musician and they try to to show how how sweet and 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 light this girl is how romantic uh, and they, this girl is romantic, also without the background. But the rough background pushes her uh, romantic light situation in a new, uh, in a new level. You see, when, when um, imagine she, she sits there on a bank in a nice park situation. It's not a contrast. It's a nice picture from a nice woman. Here you have this this nice woman in communication with its rough situation in the back. That's an aesthetical contrast. We have also a contrast in, uh, in content. That means when something happens with your feelings, then it's, it, it, it gives, it's gift, um, it develop um, interesting in the picture. There, there is something that's it's, it's not normal, it's not good for me, I, I have to look at this picture. What is happening here? Here is happening that a child um, write mom on the wall. That's something we don't want. A child has to be happy and have to be safe and, and not in this, in this dirty surrounding. And, and that makes something with us that we say, the, the, it's, it's not good what we, what we see here. It's, it's something we have to look at it. We have to take care of this child. And that's also a contrast. That's a contrast in content. And of course, we have the contrast in color. And color contrast, it's also a very strong contrast. You know, everybody knows uh, this is color circle um, where, where, you, uh, where you can um, choose colors. They are, have the best contrast. Um, every time on the opposite side of this of this color circle there you have the strongest context, uh, contrast and um, it also works but there we have also a, a few uh, a few um, traps 
because every tenth uh, man in the world have a, a green a red uh, problem with eyes and that's a very strong contrast for people who have the normal eyes but 10 percent of all men on the world can't see what you have planned there that's the only contrast where you have to be a little bit um, uh, you, you use it not, not so often because uh, when you have a green uh, typography on a red background, I, for example, can't read it. Yes, but normally this, this uh, color background and this color uh, contrast works very, very well. When you see, this is uh, um, this is a picture style I love a lot because it's very calm and very quiet and it works for a musician uh, company. And, um, and there they have a few reshoots. That means that every time when you, when you see a photo from Ernst von Siemens Musikstiftung, there is nobody on the photo. There is no people. That's very calm. And you have um, always this thing where you can do your papers with your, with your, um, with your notes uh, on it. And it's every time on this, on this picture. And, um, and the nice thing on this picture is also the horizon. The horizon is every time on the same level. That means when you work with these pictures, you can always work also with typography because you know here is the horizon and on the top I have space for a little typography and in the, in the, in the, um, in the uh, bottom part of the picture there is a content. That is for, uh, for the developing, fast developing of um, of, of design, sometimes very, very important. Of course, you have to uh, work with, with people because people attract. People attract. And if somebody look at you, you have to look back. That's every time. And that means when you can use people for attraction, use it. But they also here, we have traps. Because when you choose models, you define your target to target group. And a good example here for our hotels. Um, when you have a hotel and um, you have customers, they want to have this situation here. They don't want to see this situation. Why? Because people, they want to have a romantic, a romantic uh, adult um, vacation. They, want to, they don't want to have a loud child running around and making party. That means um, a hotel often have a problem that in the summertime, there are a lot of families and a lot of child. And outside of summertime, they need customers. They are, um, they are free and, and they also um, uh, pay, pay the rent in times where the families are not there. And that's the reason that often uh, when you make hotels, you have photos where people are, where you can't define your target group directly, or they have, uh, they use pictures without, uh, without any people on. That's good because um, you can, you, um, you are free with your target group. Here, um, the special thing is that we, um, when, when we work with people in tourism, uh, in tourism communication, you have to have a hotel who's a whole year with one, with one target group. There are hotels in this way, on Mallorca, all Germans are there and drink, and they have photos with party people because the whole life there is one party. Uh, but normally you see often in hotels that, um, that the people that they are used for models are less important. Last but not least, um, I want to say something about the workflow when you, when you develop something for your company or um, you, have to, you have to make a workflow. And the normal workflow from the most students are, you have an idea, you make a shoot, you go in production and you have a, a thing. Um, here for, therefore is, um, 
that's a fast way and it's it's enough for for a small party of you but when you want to have a professional uh, um, a professional uh, a professional uh, visual communication you work better in this way at first you make the research i love google picture search um, and looking for inspiration is not a ripoff that means you can look what the other guys have done in a similar situation and you can add all these informations to your new idea. And that's the way the best works, because um, when you when you develop something like this, it's often the problem that you think over oh, this company have a nice visual communication and um, and, and your your brain works ah, and and, and then you make a, a decision and in this decision you do something you have seen before but you didn't know that you have seen it before you think that's your own idea and that's also a reason for research um, because it's dangerous that you sometimes uh, develop visual communication and it is a rip off and you like it so much because it's for you uh, normal you have seen it before and that makes a good feeling about this and uh, to be beware of this, you have to make a research that you uh, don't develop a plagiate um, uh, without you want to, 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 to do this. Then um, check your ideas. When you sit in front of your monitor and in front of your uh, camera, um, you only can look from your eyes. And it's very often that you have an idea but the other people didn't understand it right. And that means the best testing persons are persons who have nothing to do with your job. Uh, don't ask your mother. Your mother will say, it's so nice because you are my daughter. Ask, don't ask friends. Ask people. They are not important for you. Show it and don't say, what do you think about this nice thing? Show the photo, show the project and say nothing. Say, what do you want to say to me um, for this thing? What, what, what is your feeling about my, my result? Then think it over. It's possible to do what I have planned. Sometimes you have a great idea, maybe to make a logo on the moon. And you think, well, it's a great idea, but I don't have a rocket to fly to the moon. Um, maybe you take a balloon and the video projector and, and make the moon with a, with a big balloon over the city and make a pro projection on this. And that's the way you can uh, develop uh, an idea. You can't, um, you can't uh, prove, uh, you, you, you can't make. And this idea is maybe the mother of, of, a, of another solution. Um, then, of course, very important in this time, uh, are there any laws against your idea? Check that all what you use, that all people give you, give you okay, that you use her face, that you use uh, logos from, from companies, and, um, and that, that's not forbidden. In Germany, uh, you have a lot of things that's forbidden in communication because of, of Adolf Hitler. We have a few signs we can't use. It's forbidden. Therefore, check you're uh, the best with a lawyer check it's everything okay when you when you um, when you develop such a such a visual communication and of course draw a screw i like pencils so much and i can explain you why when you have an idea and you write it with your pencil you have don't you don't have problems with the software and your brain and your ideas can flow when you do it on the computer you uh, maybe have uh, an easier way and, and your idea of getting uh, is, is not so strong because the technical side uh, helps you to go in another way that your creativity. And with a pencil, you can fix your ideas on a paper without that the computer accumulator is empty or something like this. Okay. At first you have research thinking, then the idea, then the struggle, then the shoot, 
post-production, production, and then you have your lovely design. Summary. Composition, backgrounds, colors, and icons are the tools to create a picture. You always have to remember your message and your target group. A good idea is only the beginning of the work. Be aware of your main message is clear and your visualization have to have no accented information. You can read it yourself. Keep your eyes open and find new perspectives for everyday situations and objects. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. And uh, can I, can I ask you. one question yes. about the presentation? So you said about bad background and uh, aesthetic contrast. So and what's the difference? So how we can understand which background can spoil our picture and which background can intensify the uh, contrast of the picture? Um, the contrast and the background can work together. They don't have to. Um, the background in the political sphere, the background for me is very, very important mm -hmm. because um, when I make a photo from a political, it's important I'm, I'm on the landscape or I'm in the city. What, what, is, the, what is the meaning? And um, when, I, when I know that, that the discussion in the moment is, is very strong about environment, for example, mm -hmm. I will uh, take the politician from, uh, from uh, in front of a background where you see that it goes uh, over the theme of environment. And um, that's also the reason with the iconi iconographic attraction when you have an, um, an, emo or an emotional attraction. Mm -hmm. what, what do you want to transport? That's the point. And when you say, for example, I want to transport um, this environment thing in the political sphere. It's intelligent to go in the background with something we have something to do with the environment. But when you want to have a, a strong attraction in marketing, it's another, another situation. When you have an, um, like in the Syria, when you, there the background is really more for, for manipulation because there they transport how the target group is financial, they transport where does the target group leave, uh, live. And you feel when you're part of the target group, then you feel, oh, there's something, they, they have something to do with me. And that's, that's the reason. The, the background can work as contrast, but this can also work as information the people don't know from here. They recognize us more from here. Mm -hmm. it's clear Okay, I, I got it. Thanks. I also have a question. I also have a question. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, uh, I was wondering, you said that for the picture of the stairs, you had to kind of wait for the security guard to move away. And you had to be brave in a sense of not being afraid of, I'll say, like breaking those laws. But you were also saying that when you're planning a photo shoot for a company, you have to make sure that you follow all of the laws. Which ways can you kind of be more flexible with that? And which ways do you have to really make sure that uh, you are inside of the law? That's two different things. When you, when you develop a consistent picture style, you are not able to make a snapshot. And this picture I made in, in, this, uh, in this chancellor end, I made it as a, as a snapshot. That was no, no job from me. I only want to have a, a special photo, but when I do a photo in a in a in a when I need a lot of photos for for uh, for a company, it didn't work this way. Then I have to have a plan, like uh, the Werner von Siemens uh, picture style I show the last. They, there is a clear reset where where I can work. That's not a snapshot. And um, also when you see Coca Cola or Mercedes Benz, there are no snapshots on it. This was only um, an example how to create or how to find a new perspective of classical things. 
But when you have a consistent picture style, like Coca-Cola or Mercedes-Benz, you can't make uh, snapshots in this way. You can't make decisions fast. These photos are planned, like the ad from Siri. You see, all over the world, this uh, picture, uh, this film was the same, because the reset was very, very clear. Okay. So it was basically the motive behind why you were taking those shots that differentiated. It was the motive behind how you were taking the shots that differentiated the style in which you were taking them. I understand you very, very bad. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it was the motive behind the shot that was why you shot those differently? No, that's, um, I, I hope I understand your uh, question right. I make this photo because I was there and I want to make a photo from the stairs that um, there is no, um, that, that's not design because design have a job and there, there was no job. I only want to have a special photo from the stairs. And um, when I have a job, I have something to transmit and therefore I need a plan. And then I plan my photo. Did I understand. Others? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And I also have a question. Uh, we have uh, to write an essay as our home assignment. What we should include in that essay? I think I can find the double Moodle system. You should describe to that lecture. Uh, you have seven points which you should describe to that essay. You can find it at uh, the Moodle system. So everything will be at the Moodle system. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Dear students. No. Okay. That's good lecture. Done. Dr. Wonderful. <laughs> Everything is clear. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was yeah. Thanks. So Thanks for the lecture. Thank you. Thank you for lecture. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. And dear Henry, thank you very much for your lecture, for interesting lecture. Thank you for your time. It was a great lecture. Thank you very much. Dr. Yudhuja. Cheers, Olga. Bye-bye.